Good morning. Um, I just wanted to point out while I was standing here, uh, some issues on the back that I'm actively working on. Um, and again, you'll see why staying lean, I mean, not only is it healthy, obviously, the leaner you are, the healthier, but I can see everything so well and I can work on it. And once I touch something that I can't see in the front with my finger and I can, you know, I can see that area or whatnot, for some reason I can always navigate back and find it easier. Um, so anyway, I was, <coughs> the tricep, I have this muscle, you see a bulge right here? All right. And at one point in my early 20s, right up in here, it disconnected this long head here, up in here, part of it tore off and balled up right here. And there's a spot missing in here. And uh, I've had to strengthen everything. What happened too is, and then when that went, my shoulder got like this, and my belt right here, and trap had to compensate, and I kind of was in this weird position where my shoulder was back, but it wasn't all the way like it should have been, right, like this, and this bicep was shortened up into here. All these heads were, were, there was these hard strands from holding for so long and the, the shoulder was actually like up out of place. <clears throat> I had no rotation left. So I, um, quick explanation of a lot of stuff I've had to work on here. And I, I literally had no rotation of, of any sort and all I had left was this, and that's why you can see this part here in the middle delt was a, in all of this atrophy. Um, I'm now releasing all of this stuff through grasping at this bicep finally dropped. We have all this loose skin because the bicep actually atrophied right here. And I have hard strands that I have to see. I have to get out. This hasn't been this long in over a decade, for sure. And what's happening is, now that I've released all of this, I'm really weak in this position. Because all these tendons haven't even been used in this position in so long. And that's what happens when you're using heavy static load, is... When you're in the stretch positions, it's fine. When you're lifting here, all your muscles are contracted and holding. When you start out here, and it's the same load, but it feels like even more because your body's compromised. And that's where you start doing micro tearing and things. And eventually your body just stiffens in that position. And all you have left is this range, right? That's why the bands, they match that whole range of motion. And that's originally they were used for tendons and muscle and rehab because they didn't fight it in the vulnerable position all it did was kept tension to the same curve so you, you you still have tension all muscles do is contract so and then when the muscle contracts it matches it makes it pull all the way and then you can with a band in that safer position you can top load it with another band or something that's that's or even uh, something that, that you hit and it causes a wall and at that point the muscle's safe and you can actually force it under every rep through the set to contract under its maximal load in a safe way and then bring it back and still burn every ounce of energy out of that muscle in a set rather than having to go back in with multiple sets and strategies and weight loads and different um, ranges of motion and things like that. And then <clears throat> I use static load now for active stretching. And just, 
uh, unique twist to stuff. I still use weights a little bit, but uh, it's not the same. But you see, like, up in here, you know, that, so I, I have to re-hit all this to build back up. You can see that long head right there in the division, but there's a lot of atrophy. That's where there's just some room in here. Yeah, and that's the muscle. This is the head that peaks on the bicep right there. So like when you when you bring it up, you can see my peak is it it atrophied. I still have the split, and I saved a lot of this. I got to get the scar tissue down in here, but I'm actually going to actively be able to at least gain some of this hypertrophy back in this head. Where this one, I didn't experience that. And this head still 